Hi, Shay Given here. You're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. This is our Start 11 show for the game versus Denmark on Saturday. Uh, this is not the Start 11 that Martin O'Neill is probably going to pick, <laughs> but we wanted to give our own take of who we would like to see start the game. Uh, they, as always, do join in the comments and let us know what you think. But anyway, we I think we'll all be in agree, uh, agreement with Darren Randolph. Oh, the Darren Randolph? Yeah, yeah. Like, I have to confess, McDermott, I don't know a hell of a lot about. No idea, Mr. Um, it would be from that point of view, it would be nice to see him get a couple of minutes. Uh, if if we're cruising at some stage, very unlikely. Uh, maybe one of the friendlies. I think up. last month against Poland should have been his. It, it should have been really, yeah. Um, but, but then if we had a lost that, someone would blame. So <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. Doyle is is a heart. His career has gone. Yeah. But um, I do know okay in the SPL. <laughs> yeah, look for this game. It has to be Randolph. Yeah. There's yeah. No, there's no point dragging this one out any more longer than it's needed. Yeah, uh, then I think I think as we as we mentioned in our preview, I, and we have a feeling that Martin O'Neill will go with a back three. I hope so. Um, really in hope that so. back three, who would you have? Shane Duffy's a must. Shane Duffy's a must in the middle. Um, if we're going at a three, I think Clark on the left makes sense. Yeah. And I kind of like Kyo. I have always had a soft spot for him. I've always liked his commitment. Um, but he's pro you're probably looking at long, I Kevin Long, me. yeah. See, I maybe I'm biased, but I'd like to see John Egan involved. That's, yeah, I was yeah. gonna say maybe I'm biased, yeah, 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 yeah. mate. I'm gonna, yeah, but yeah, no, he, I just don't think okay. If, if it's a team that I'm if I'm gonna pick, yeah, I'd probably like to see Egan. If if you're having Egan in as the, the, the dead center. Remember, he, he 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 did dictate a lot of play for us. Well, he is a number ten at the end of the day, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I hope that never happens again. Even he, even he was slagging himself. That's him and Royce, and then Duffy is number seven. Weird. Whoever sorted the numbers in the FA sorted <laughs> out. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely unique. We'll give we'll give them that. Um, it's like they forgot him. It's like oh yeah, but just give him number seven. It's like that's not an iconic number whatsoever. Uh, but uh, no, like I I, I do think I do so, think as the strongest. Back three would have to be our Premier League three, yeah, and that so would that's be Long, Duffy, Clark. Yeah, in a Long in the middle because he was poor as a left sided. Uh, yeah, I think Clark. I think Clark worked well on the on the left side. Um, I think as much as we'd like to throw Egan in there, I think realistically it's probably best to to. Yeah, to no, play. it is. Yeah, no, there's no there's no denying that. Um, that would be our strongest. I think. And he's used. To, he's used to playing uh, international football now. Uh, Kevin Long, like he's come in, he played. The one that sticks in my mind mostly is the game against Austria. So he's played like he knows what, yeah. what what it means to play a competitive game more so than Egan. He's he's been put in a friend. It's going to be a point where Egan is going to get a game and hopefully he takes his chance. I just don't think it's. I just don't think no, it's going it's, to happen no, unless someone gets injured. Yeah, no, it's not really going to be. It'll take a, a lot of uh, results or a lot of things to change for that. But left wing back, left wing back out. The, the the wing backs, you know, pick themselves. Pick they do really, don't they? Uh, yeah, I well, think Ender Stevens having a great season at uh, Sheffield United, and they're, they're flying high near the top of the league. Yeah, I, I'm just a little bit not cheesed off. Um, it's again, it's my Galway boys, but I'd love to see Cunningham get a, a run on this squad. I don't know what's going on there. He seems to be called in, dropped out, <laughs> called in, dropped out. Um, I know he hasn't lit up the Premiership for Cardiff. I mean, he had a flaky game there a couple of weeks ago. But you know we're not like as if we're blessed with options uh, on that side. So I I think he definitely deserves the chance. He's again he seems to be unfortunately one of these players that Martin O'Neill has a, a is it a venda against or yeah. you know just wants to go mm, maybe not for me. I think well it's kind of weird because he has Derek Williams of Blackburn in uh, in that left side. He obviously has Lenhin in there too. Yeah. But he, uh, Williams done very well against France he did. as a as a left full. But ideally, I would have. Uh, and Stevens because he's very good in that specific. It's a it's a specialized position, and it's a. You look at the way the games evolve now. It it it's a very special specialized position. You have to be able to get up and back and know when to go and know when to make the right and runs. With the and, and all that, you know, it's. But they seem to, to himself and Doherty on the right just seem to have mastered that position. Yeah, and yeah. like he 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 did specify in the press conference how different uh, left back to left wing back is, and he's comfortable playing both. Um, he spoke very well. Like I never really heard him speaking much, or, or you know, coming out. He's a very, he seems like a very confident lad, confident in his ability. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And I think Matt Doherty is the same. I, I think, 
I think he's kind of almost coming into the squad with a chip on his shoulder saying, you know what, I, I, I want to prove myself this time around. Yeah, like the, the comment that Doherty said, was it? My face doesn't fit. Uh, yeah, exactly. That for me is kind of, uh, I'm going to show him here now. Um, and I think, like, can you imagine if he puts in another perform? if he puts in a performance of Ireland like he's been doing for, for, uh, for Wolves this season, like, I think a lot of Irish fans that might necessarily have watched them a hell of a lot, you know, they might just focus on the Ireland games or their own team will are in for a in for a shock really like he has been bombing up and down that, that right wing for Wolves. So the only issue is, is that we need to play football for him to flourish. Yeah. Uh, well, that's, that's the thing with a lot of the players, isn't that's it? The, yeah, that's the only issue. Now if we're kinda of moving into uh midfield, I for one thing that from the last set of uh games, I think Sean Williams deserves that spot that uh, David Morello usually gets the anchor man death number six yeah because um, he drops where he gets the ball and let it play yeah it no off. I was the Poland game especially I was really really impressed, impressed with him just small things but just demanding the ball and pinging it nice and quickly left or right um, got us taken really I think he's almost a, uh, I think it'd be a calamity if he doesn't get picked in this game he was that good um, and you know you'd struggle to think of other really options in that quarterback, whatever we want to call it, number six or deepest line midfield player, he has to be a, a he has to be a certainty for us to play in my mind. Any of us? Yeah, so I think we're we're in agreement in most of the players. I mean, you know, we're not really arguing on on, on too many or, or kind of you know. I'm fuss, sure maybe fuss, some of the the, 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 the some listeners people are probably shouting on yeah. the screens, but uh, leave a comment there if you would like to see who who you want. To I have on. a funny feeling that he's gonna put. He loves to. To try and fit McLean in some way, and I have a funny feeling he's gonna try and play McLean as like a number ten, and he's gonna play Hendrick beside him. I have a funny feeling. I for one feel that Hendrick has to start either way, um, in centre mid, ahead yeah. of ahead of Williams. Ahead of Williams. No, like it, oh, it, sorry, a bigger part. Yeah, it, it, position wise, yeah, like so we were kind of going with we were talking really two more centre midfielders. In, yeah, in so it's kind of like a five three two because if you're including the yeah um, back three with the two. If it's for me, then my next two would be Hendrick and Arthur. Yeah. I think Arthur especially has been playing. He, again, he's one of these players that's played a lot of football uh, this season. I actually didn't even mention him in the preview. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and all, you know, I think he's, I think he liked, liked already. He has a point to prove, you know there was that argument or whatever happened to Keane and something happened, he wasn't available or he made himself unavailable for the last squad. And you, even just from the, the comments we, we touched on earlier, I think on the previous show about McLean, you know, saying about, you know, he didn't, he didn't agree with Arthur's decision not to, not to, or to make himself unavailable yeah. and how he, he, how he compared his reaction to that, what he would have done differently. But I think Arthur has a point to prove. Arthur has played a lot of football this season and he's played a lot for, like Cardiff played horrible football but probably nothing too dissimilar to what, what he's, we're going to experience with Ireland um, in the next set of games for me he has to come back into that team yeah no, I, like, I'm, I, I, I'm not putting McLean forward in the midfield position I just I have a funny feeling that uh, O'Neill will try to include him in there yeah. I just have an odd feeling that he will I, I just hope he doesn't I'd say just if you're going to switch it up at some point during the game maybe go to a 4-4-2 and then bring McLean on as a left wing um, there's obviously O'Dowd is in there too I mean he, yeah, he, Odell he, is he, close he to a, has a he has a case to warrant a spot in that team too absolutely yeah and like even though myself personally I'd, I'd go Arthur and I'd go Hendrick O'Dowd is very very close to, to making that yeah but the only way you could fit O'Dowd into that team is as a number 10 and have Hendrick a little bit yeah and then you're playing I'd like to have two strikers you're dropping one of the strikers um, you're getting rid of them and I think four kind of central players will probably Probably an overload. Yeah, to overcrowded. Yeah, yeah basically. Yeah. But now I think I think what I think what you're saying is bang on the money there with Arthur and Hendrick. Uh, I thought wouldn't be a bad midfield three for me. Uh, I just like Williams in terms of the way he just sits in front of defence and picks up the ball. He's not afraid to turn on. Yeah, him. and I think uh, he would get the best out of Arthur and Hendrick ahead of him then as well. Like he'll just be playing them, zipping the balls. You know, it's firing the ball to them. Here, lads, go, yeah, go make something. Which is the one criticism you'd probably say of both Hendrick and Arthur at times. They haven't probably made themselves available as much. Again, I don't think either of them in, have been helped really by the style of football that's been up in the air and turn around and, and, and chase. So I think those three, if we can get the ball moving from our, you know, our three centre half to Williams and then pinging out to those guys, I think that's where you're going to see us most effective. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm in agreement with uh, I'm liking, I'm liking this team. Um, then we move it up front. And for me, 
I just I just don't feel like Shane Long's going to be fully fit for this game. Yeah, I, I, I think personally as well, I think we scrap him and we look at Wales for long. I think just to give him a bit more time for recovery, he is, is it an ankle injury or yeah, a knocker? Yeah, puffed up. Yeah, so why take the chance? There is other options. I would keep him for for for, for uh, Tuesday night. Um, I, I'd probably go with them, with the the two boys I've set in Poland, Robinson and Thing. Only but for the fact that Maguire uh, is only coming back from injury. Yeah, that's the thing. Only it's, but for that. Otherwise, I would probably have Maguire and Robinson. Yeah, it's Maguire's fitness that's concerned, whatever. If Maguire... Not is, his ability, but, no, yeah. but I don't think that I don't want to start uh, Sean Maguire because I do. He really, hates him, really. <laughs> I do. I, I love him. <laughs> Um, no, it depends on his fitness. If if he is fit, which is probably unlikely because he's missed so much football and is only is it one or two games he's played for Preston since? I think he only played a couple of minutes. He yeah. played a cup game, I think. Yeah, it was a cup a game and a, and, and a couple of minutes from the. So league he's not game. far away, but I, well, you know, it, it, it'll be kind of how he trains this week. I think Matt O'Neill can assess it. Yeah. Um, if he's fit for me, McGuire and Robinson. If he's not fit, I, I would probably go with O'Brien and and, uh, and Robinson. To be fair. Yeah, I'm genuinely unsure what way to go. We've got options, what? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, there's even a couple of, couple of more of the players that probably feel hard done by but not being involved. I would probably like to see Robinson and Maguire. Yeah. As, uh, for me, it's, it's, just, it's just a matter of fitness. Um, you know, I would actually... No, I'd probably, I'd probably go with Hogan. He's, uh, and and Robinson because I think Hogan's a bit more um, established. Wouldn't say at international level, yeah. but the only thing is O'Brien has an <coughs> international goal. Bless you, thanks. <laughs> um, in, an international uh, goal and Hogan doesn't. That would be my only. Um, it, it makes a huge difference because he's got. The, he I know he nearly scored against Turkey. Uh, but he's got the he's broken the duck. Yeah, and like an an O'Brien psychologically. Yeah, an O'Brien like would feel hard done by if he doesn't start after the good performance against Poland. I, I'm actually I'm actually, for the first time in a while I'm actually stuck. Yeah, like I, I would just leave. I well, I think it's part of me. I just want to see Maguire given his opportunity. I think he's going to add a lot more to our game. But you know, either way, it's not bad options. Um, but I, I think if we're going to play football. Maguire would be pivotal to that. Yeah, that's why. Like, I'm leaning. I'm him. I'm leaning towards Maguire getting him in just because. Okay, know, we're gonna throw Sean Maguire in there. Sean Maguire. We're gonna, we're gonna assume he's just, just just because you know we have you have that three in midfield. You know that has the ball they'll be getting from the from the centre halves, and I think O'Brien is kind of almost away from home. You're going a bit more direct, and he's kind of more of. A, I know he plays in the wing quite a bit as well, but. What we've seen him for Ireland has been a bit more of a target man, a bit more hold the ball up and play on, where Maguire is just a bit more dynamic, I think. Uh, and that's why I'm leaning towards just a bit more sexy football Yeah, for Ireland. Yeah, now um, Maguire and Robinson? Robinson, yeah. Okay, because they have a good understanding of the mates as yeah, well. Yeah, and Robinson's in pretty pretty decent form as well for us. Um, scored a few for Preston. Um, he's full of energy as well, which I all like part, him. He, all part of this sexy football. I like him. He seems to really have, have uh, you know adopted this Irish way of life, and you know um, really really getting behind playing for Ireland. And he, he, you see, it seems to really bring out the best in him. Like he, he's he been on a good form since he came back from the international break yep. and he just seems to be playing football with a smile on his face. Even though Preston are in crap form, he is still, his performances have been quite good and he's, he scored a few goals. So, and yeah. he wasn't bad for us as well. I mean, he ran his socks off yeah. for, for us and he, he played just in that, he played in that five, the five, three, two or whatever. whatever you want he got three, fl- five, two, whatever. Yeah. He had to back three, two wing backs. If they three, sit, it's, it's either they sit or they push forward. Um, yeah, no, and uh, like, that's a team that you would look at and you'd go, oh, Jesus, you know, these, these, result, these yeah. can play football. These can, these doesn't necessarily, they can mix it up if need be, but by and large, their, their first uh, choice really is to pass the ball and keep it moving. And I think, I think that could be a very effective team. Yeah, hundred um, percent. So that's been our team. Anyway, yeah, let us know your thoughts in the comments. It'll be interested to hear what. what Who would you, you play up front? Exactly. Yeah, uh, or even in midfield. Midfield as well. Would you get McLean in? Yeah, or um, you might put Moiler in ahead of uh, Williams. Yeah. Who knows? Um, or even... Actually, you know, the more we talk about it, the more positive we we even getting because there's so many options there, and there's even players that we haven't even, haven't even touched on. And um, yeah. that's how strong this squad is become at the moment. So yeah. Exciting times. Um, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, huge thanks to our sponsors, Halfway Cabs. 
Uh, check out their app uh, download on each phone or on Android. The link will be in the bio. Uh, Dublin's most reliable taxi service. So check them out. And as always, thank you very much for watching Irish Football Fan TV. See you guys on Saturday. Come on, Ireland. <laughs>